Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on GTA 5 today with some uh, semi-truck racing. We had a vote on Twitter as to what people wanted to see rebuild, and this was the uh, victor. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to do two 10-minute races with these trucks. See, well, how many of us can survive, how many of us will make it through, because, of course, if we lose the trailer, you are out. Uh, I'm going to see if I can make my way through the field. Now, for this to work, it has to, has had to be made in a deathmatch, which means there is no catch-up, there is no slipstream in the way this circuit snakes around. Overtakes are actually incredibly difficult, especially because of the sheer length of these trucks. Trying to get a pass completed is not the easiest thing. It is quite possible and in some ways quite likely that we will see um, trucks stuck too wide for large portions of the lap. I kind of like when we did limo racing back in uh, in Forza 6. Uh, of course, this is to a much greater extent because, yeah, your vehicles are so long and equally matched that uh, trying to get your, your full length of your truck ahead before getting to a corner is not always so easy. Uh, but sometimes you might, like I done through there, have a little bit of a lift to make sure that you can fit back into line. We will clear the golf livery truck. Oh, there's a little bit of arguments going on up ahead. I had a lift because everyone's going to get backed up through there and I'm going to get stuck on the outside. God damn it, because I can't get my trailer across. Uh, oh, someone is down from the uh, front group. Somebody has lost their... Oh. There's been a, there's, oh, there's been a ex trailer explosion. I don't quite know how on earth to have managed that one. We've got through the <laughs> opening... <laughs> got through the opening section okay for us. I don't know how, how on earth have they managed to break a... I guess they might have uh, got backed up somewhere. Had someone hit the trailer? They're normally a little bit more resilient than, than that. Really, like, they could have just clipped a wall somewhere and the... Uh, game got quite angry at them. It's very, very possible that uh, <laughs> small, like brushing along these crash barriers, things can go uh, a little bit uh, a little bit wrong. Either way, we're not doing too badly here. Or oh, someone stuck on the outside there has got all of the slows. We're going to go and try and join in, but we're still going to find ourselves on the wrong line for the next corner, and I'm going to have to have a little bit of a lift. It's kind of like uh, slot car racing. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, not the, not the comparison I was expecting to have to make. Truck racing, scale electrics, yeah, not not exactly the um, comparison I expected to make at the start of this video, but in some ways it is surprisingly, surprisingly similar. Oh, a couple of the trucks up ahead got themselves ever so slightly connected together. The leader is starting to break away a, a tad there, and the leader is starting to lag away a little bit as well. Uh, kind of glad I am further back. I was playing that really, really risky with the Wolves. Now, you've got to hope... Uh, through here that no one makes a mistake or oh, both of us were well flying on the rather wonky side to say the least across that jump did all get away with it that's uh, nothing we can do nothing we can do down here nothing we can really do in terms of uh, going for an overtake at this moment in time the trucks are well, not the quickest of vehicles. Oh, yeah, go. Attack the football. Lose yourself some momentum. Uh, we've got Reese behind us in a uh, bright pink truck. Uh, yeah, the, a lot of these corners are surprisingly quite flat out in uh, in the trucks. <laughs> They're going for some real defensive tactics up ahead. That's some real, real defensive stuff going on between those two. Now, if I can make a move stick around the outside of the green truck here. I can't do it. Can't do it. We carry. I say we carry. We carry about the same amount of speed. Oh, can I sneak the nose out the inside? No, I can't. It was worth a look. <laughs> oh no, no, dear. Things have gone badly wrong. Oh no. I might get jackknifed and lose my trailer. Reese is going to come flying through. God damn it. <laughs> Ah, oh, the two trucks up ahead, they got stuck, uh, they kind of got stuck together, and, uh, yeah, things went a little bit poorly for them, the trailer coming across caused all manner of issues for us, uh, we, we've got an overtake done finally on the turquoise truck, unfortunately that does mean that Reese is now passed on us, and trying to do too much about catching up to the vehicles ahead is proving relatively difficult, especially when they've not got anyone battling. If you're not going side by side through corners, uh, it's yeah quite difficult to make a huge amount of ground. <laughs> I've got a, a green truck all over the back of me trying to find a way past somewhere. 
I'm going to make sure that I cover the inside. The problem is, the more that we do this, chances of us catching up to anyone ahead is pretty slim. I'm going to try and hug that inside line on the way in. Uh, he's going to get the, he's going to get the cut back on me, but that's fine. I don't really care too much about that one. We can continue to uh, fight. We are, I think, in about fifth place, possibly. I don't really know. We've got five minutes. We're at half distance in this race. We've got five minutes to go. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. We're in sixth place, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the remaining trucks, we are towards well the back of the field. Don't spend too long looking back, otherwise we will end up having a uh, miss of the corner. It looks like there is a bit of a fight going on over fourth place. I could do with somebody getting a trailer stuck on a wall. Oh, careful. That trailer there's going to make a real nuisance of itself. Uh, there's probably a better line through that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just follow the leader through that section. Oh, there we go. Third place is now starting to go. 2-1. It's quite nice being able to watch the rest of the race unfold around this circuit, being a floaty circuit and being so open. Uh, we have had a couple of truck races built inside the uh, in the city that we've tried before. Uh, there is often problems with low-hanging trees. The, uh, a lot of the shrubbery around the place can cause some big, big issues when it comes to uh, comes to truck racing and just sort of trailers spazzing out and, yeah, things generally failing. So, out here, a lot more open. You can do a lot more as well. The leaders are still relatively close. Looks like third have finally sorted themselves out over there, possibly. Uh, oh, I might be leaving the door open a little bit for the uh, green truck. I'm kind of okay with that here. Because he'll draw alongside, but he's never going to get a good run off of that corner. I will always out-drag him there. And he might actually have compromised himself enough to have allowed the uh, blue and orange truck to draw up alongside. And, yep, he will. He will lose the place from that <laughs> that overtake. He's going to have cost... Or that overtake attempt is going to have uh, cost... Oh! <laughs> Spectators playing it dangerously on the uh, edge of that uh, what kind of first quarter area. We are catching ever so slightly up to uh, up to Reese here. Now, if we try and take a tighter line... Oh, Reese is doing exactly the same thing. Try and take that tighter line uh, so we get past that trailer, the two-bar. I think the trailer might have actually been shunted outwards, possibly, as well. The sun is beginning to set here as we are uh, racing around. Blinky... <laughs> Blinky up at the front is uh, bouncing the trailer around there. We may have one more lap after this. There may be one more. It's it's uh, tantalizingly close, but not quite close enough to do anything about finding a way past. Uh, it's kind of a shame that we can't have Slipstream on with the trucks. Or, whoa, I very nearly lost a trailer uh, over there. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that uh, you can't have Slipstream on uh, for uh, for this. Admittedly, not that they go particularly fast. They are cutting very, very big holes through the air, mind, with these uh, with these trailers. I'm just trying to drive as smoothly as possible with these. As smoothly as possible. Carry as much speed oh, through the corners as we do. Yeah, that's every millimetre of the road being used to the two, <laughs> two trucks behind. Follow. This is very, uh, very much train racing going on almost at the moment. I'm trying as many different lines as I can. So we are closing on Reese. It's just little by little, lap by lap, we are uh, closing on Reese as people are going to fool themselves underneath the wheels of, uh, of my truck. Nope. <laughs> the vehicles behind would... Uh, would get them. I'm trying to shorten every little inch off of this course that I can get away with. I've thrown that in with a lot of speed. I might have shrugged off too much momentum trying to make sure I can get a good a good run. Now you are supposed to be able to gain speed like curb boosting is a, is a thing in GTA. I don't think it quite works with the uh, trucks unfortunately. If it does work with the trucks I'm not gaining any speed on uh, trying to catch up to uh, up to race. Thankfully, the trucks behind have uh, fallen off. Oh, there's a trailer down. Trailer has gone tumbling off the course. I think so. Yeah, someone up ahead. We might, we will make a position, in fact, on one of the, oh, all of this work, all of the work they've done during the race to have the trailer go soaring off through. Oh, I'm going to end up putting him into the, uh, <laughs> I don't want to deviate from course too much because any little steering input is going to cost you a bit of time. Well, we're going to have one more lap and I've lost ground to Reese. We've gained a place, but I've not gained a uh, 
well and a place on Reese. Oh, someone up ahead as well has gone very, very wide. Now that could be an opportunity for me here because he'll compromise potentially Reese through, well, through these next corners. Does look like the leaders are going to go on to their final lap. We will get one more lap. It's, uh, well, it's going to build to an exciting finish this time around. This is now the fight for third place. This is for a podium. This is to try and get your truck on the podium. The spectators are uh, being splattered by, <laughs> by the trucks further back. It's absolutely bumper to bumper through these next corners, but there is just nowhere to go. I've given Reese a little bit of a uh, hurry up nudge. They're both going to run wide through there. They cut it back in, but there's just too much truck in front of you. <laughs> it's nowhere to go. God damn it. I could have done without a three-way battle for a, a podium because that'll make it super difficult to get an overtake. The leaders are, yeah, long gone at the front of the field. Can I find a way past Reese? Will I manage to screw things up for me? Will I manage to lose my trailer? Oh, I have to have a lift because otherwise I'd have got put in the wall. Ah, it's just, I can't do it. I can't quite get my truck alongside. My best bet if they have issues across the jumps, possibly. We flew quite nicely. Actually, the green truck is coming back into this one for this uh, final section. They're having to have lifts in places where you wouldn't normally be having to uh, have lifts. Has brought that green truck back into contention. Will anything happen between these two coming into these last couple of corners? Oh, I'm just trying to spin the camera to keep up and click the stick in. Oh, there's been a big kerfuffle further back. <laughs> yep, they're gone. They are well and truly out of it. I threw everything. I caught Reese. I did kind of catch up to the back of Reese, but there was nothing, nothing we could do in all of that one. We will have to settle for a uh, fifth place in the end. Ah, well. <laughs> it's an exciting, exciting race. Expected to be a little bit more uh, side by side in uh, all of that, but that is just the way that it goes sometimes. And now apparently we're being, uh, well, beaten up. Yeah, I couldn't quite make the progress through the field. Well, I, I say I flattened. They kind of fell underneath, fell underneath my truck. Now Reese is trying to, to steal my trailer. It's a solid. It's a solid round one. I think I will. Uh, I will go with that. So, for this second round of truck racing, we are going for a Le Mans start. So, we are all across this side of the road, on the curbs. I have to run, sprint to our trucks, hook up the trailers, and get going. Uh, likely to be utter, utter carnage. Uh, fingers crossed, we will uh, keep our trailer past the start line as at 56 or we will begin I'm hopefully off to a uh, pretty decent start here and uh, everything is all you know evenly positioned and whatnot someone's put their truck into the wrong gear grab the trailer go 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 oh bugger me this is a lot of goings oh. <laughs> no I'm gonna have to break otherwise oh he just just gave me space to uh, get back onto the truck. Very, very nearly saw me being the first truck out of all of this. We have survived. We might survive to take the place off him. We do. Uh, we will squeeze our truck ahead. I'm kind of curious to see what chicanes we are going to uh, end up making with the various trailers. Not everyone is going to finish. Basically, this, this, this is what I know. Not everybody is going to finish. Reese is busy firing flares at all of us. Uh, as long as it doesn't set my tyres on fire, we are okay. I don't think it can... I don't think they can if they flare sit long enough on the tires. I don't think just driving over them is going to be uh, long enough. I think for me, oh, we are going to be at the awkward position of too far back to uh, actually make too much headway on the leaders unless they have big crashes. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have fun. And also, there may well be a mess at the chicane if we aren't careful, especially... Oh, someone's managed to front flip a truck. How have you done that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'd, we'd seen that that jump had been dangerous. And I say dangerous in as much as it had unsettled a couple of trucks. Mine included at one point in that previous race. Uh, I'm guessing he didn't pull down on the stick enough. Oh, we're going three wide with trucks up ahead. Are they going to give each other enough space? Just. Now, that's really going to help the leader. 
If uh, first place gets clear and second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I think I'm in seventh at the moment, if we all end up going two and three wide, that will really help the leader manage to uh, run away. And yeah, that's three wide into turn one. You do not want to be on the outside of a three wide into turn one in semi trucks. If you can keep it there, though, you will be on the inside. No, he hasn't. The red truck having to. Uh, Fall back into line. Oh, a little bit of blink mobile. Someone's trailer's going to go. And I'm going to try and squeeze. As I squeeze while we're out of the inside, I'm committed to uh, going through there. Yeah, funnily enough, three wide did not quite work out so, uh, so well for everybody. You've got to give each other more space than that, guys. I'm going to have a massive, massive run on this brown truck. I need to get this pass completed before we get to a corner, which we do. The uh, other kind of grey, browny, I don't know, whatever colour truck it is. Uh, it's making the way past. And the finishing time, by the way, is uh, at uh, 46. I, mean, I say the, the finishing time. Again, it's, it's a 10-minute race. 46. When the clock ticks over to 46, that'll be the uh, leader's last lap here. Ah. You know what? The one starts kind of worked in my favour. In, in all of the shenanigans, even with the front-flipping truck and tumble-overs and there's some overtaking going on behind us, uh, everybody's been really mindful. Everyone knows how much momentum is uh, playing a part in this. A lot of these corners are flat out or only small, small lifts. It's really about being as smooth as, with the truck as possible, avoiding the props if you can. And yeah, that's why overtaking is very, very difficult around here, because you are flat out for a large portion of the race. Oh, we've got... <laughs> the spectators are being dangerous already. Don't get a flare caught on my truck. That'll end poorly for me. God, I really need second and third to fight. I need those two to fight rather than me fighting third. If I start fighting third, that then gives second a chance. Give second a big old chance to run away. That's looking good for me. Although then we're going to end up having another case of the three wide. Another th the three wide is okay in normal cars in normal racing. But the three wide in semi trucks around here. Where it's actually relatively narrow. I'll be honest. It's, it's, I mean this is the, sort of the stunt circuits and so on. But when you're driving semi trucks. It's not exactly the widest piece of track in, uh, in existence. We might be able to buy into this fight, although I've got to be very, very mindful of buying into it too much, because they're going to lean on one another, and if they have an accident, if they get into a, a bit of bother, uh, there's still some uh, <laughs> still some paint swapping going on there as we head across the jump, and there is nothing more that uh, I can do. Now, I need a big dive to go on. Uh, I didn't really make up enough time. Did not make up enough time. The now third place truck did a good job of realising when he was beaten. Might have a big uh, as I say, might have a big go at the inside, have a big snow at the inside there. Can't quite do it. I've got a half decent run here. It's not gonna be enough though, is it? The <laughs> train of trucks behind trundles on, and they're not at the moment able to do too much about getting past. I really hung in that inside. I think that's where I've been making a bit of time over some of these other vehicles. With the uh extra dose of bravery when it came to uh, hug the inside. You've got to really <laughs> work the uh, work the risk versus reward in this. The more you hug the inside, the slightly shorter the route will be, the slightly faster you can go. The more you hug the inside, the bigger the risk is that you bump your truck into the wall and you lose a trailer. And I've just bumped the truck ahead of me and that's given him a bit of a shunt actually to maybe draw alongside. Yeah, he's got the space. Oh, he's got the space. Oh, but that's that was the risk. That was the risk that we talked about. Sorry, so the truck's behind. Uh, <laughs> as if on cue. Thank you. Thank you, good sir, for the um, as if on cue moment of explaining why it was so dangerous to run along the wall. Yeah, you run the risk. You turn in too much, you clip that inside crash barrier, and you are going to potentially lose a trailer. Now, the, the actual crash didn't cause him to lose a trailer. It was that he stopped directly in front of me, and I, I have half-decent reaction times. I can't stop from I can't stop from that. There's just no nowhere that you can go in all of that. Uh, thankfully for me, while it backed up the field behind, uh, everybody got boxed in, and then they all started fighting. So while they were busy all fighting for position, uh, I've kind of come out of this still with my third place, which is nice. I've just got to be uh, so I've got to be mindful as they didn't make a mistake on their own. Ah, oh, that's yeah. We might be in a little bit of no man's land for a while here, unless I make a silly mistake. Somebody's a long way back over there with a trailer. 
I wonder if the front flip truck uh, actually kept its kept the trailer attached. It's not impossible. It'd be unlikely, but it's not not completely impossible that he actually kept the trailer attached in all of that shenanigans. That could explain why he is, uh, or why someone is so far back in uh, in all of that. I'm curious as to how the roadblock might be around the coming corner. Not that there's going to be a huge. I think probably everybody shunted it well clear from the train of vehicles that went through. Yeah, it's uh, it's not in a very good place, actually. Uh, I tell a lie, especially if we've got... Uh, oh, they're not going to go. <laughs> yeah, someone has to yield when it comes to that. I think some of the trucks further back might have got a, a little bit connected. Uh, but everybody has survived that section for now. Oh, apparently I've been... <laughs> Yeah, I don't really need to worry about that too much. I've only been mess messing around. There'll hopefully be an exciting thumbnail image from all of these uh, recorded clips. It's a good, a good start to the race. It's kind of, I think, going to be a, a fairly lonely, lonely middle. Well, the same middle, middle to end the last couple of minutes, really. Oh, uh, something's gone on here. Uh, ah, second. <laughs> Second place. Oh, Reese is gone as well, I think. Second place must have clipped the wall. Oh, he's made a real mess of that. Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was looking the other way and headed up towards the hairpin, and there was a, a trailer in the middle of the road. That's really given the leader a get out of jail free. There's, yeah, there's nothing I can do to catch that. Not in the, not in the remaining time that we have, unless he makes a big, big old mistake here. I mean, I'll take a free position. Free positions are always, always helpful. I've got to be a little bit mindful of the truck behind in the... Oh, I've done that a bit wonky as well. In all the confusion trying to avoid the suddenly stranded uh, hairpin truck, uh, I didn't do as good of a job as some. For example, the vehicle behind. Actually, Reese got out of all of that with his trailer still on. I'm impressed. I... <laughs> When I looked back and, and saw, well, the mess that was going on there, I felt for sure that Reese was going to be one of those that lost the, the trailer. The angle that he was at with that trailer was not particularly happy, but has got away with all of that. I'll take a bit of a wonky line. I'll just try a slightly different line, see if we can carry more speed in this. Uh, there's not much in it, not much in it at all. Down, don't front flip the truck. Yeah, they get <laughs> can get a real a real kicker if you're not quite paying attention. I also <laughs> love how much longer all of this has survived now that we kind of know what we're doing. I say kind of know what we're doing uh, now that we have a rough idea of what we're going for. Yeah, okay, gotta be careful. Take a tight line through here, but that's mostly the racing line that you're going to be seeing anyway. Oh, it looks like we will have one more lap. We will have one more lap to try and fend off. It'll be very, very close. And technically the leader could just hold the brakes and... Uh, oh, he might not have made it. He might not have made it. Oh, the truck behind me. Oh, he did cross the line. He's carrying on, so we will have one more time around, and I am in a little bit of bother. I didn't hug the inside as much as I should have done. Uh, just a, a slight lapse of concentration from me has allowed the uh, brownie black coloured truck to draw alongside. He will get alongside for turn one, uh, but I'm going to have the inside for turn two, and more importantly, I'm going to have the inside, and I will probably be ahead by the time we go to the narrowing choke point here. So he is going to have a choice. Either try and bump the trailer out of the way, try and go around the outside. I'll give him all the space that I can. Oh, he does a good job. I'm impressed. <laughs> I thought that was going to cost him. Oh, he's actually made it really awkward for the trucks behind as well. I thought it was going to cost him a lot more time. No, oh, we're still going to be side by side. Is he going to have to yield? Oh, I'll give him space through the next corner. He's still there. He's st he can't get it far enough alongside to complete a pass, but he is still... Still there. We're going to fly across the jump. Neither of us get much difference in terms of a run through there. Uh, <laughs> oh no. No, the footballs are coming. The footballs are getting in the way. Uh, try and dodge all of this. Yet yeah, neither of us want to hit any of the props because it might just cost us that tiny bit of momentum. Now he's got another trailer to worry about on the outside. I will. Oh, no, because he's going to be on the... No, he's going to have the important inside line for the final corner. I tried to force him out wide as much as I could to slow him down there. But I've got nothing left to fight with here. He's going to get me. Oh, 
No! Come on, orange truck! You can do it! We've actually got the run on the outside of the corner! Oh, no, we bumped! He's gonna beat me! Ah! Oh, God damn it! <laughs> there was nothing more I could have done. I think... I think I slightly miscorrected. I was spinning around the camera looking down and I slightly miscorrected with the uh, steering and I grazed the side of the truck and that cost me the little run that I had. It might not have been enough. That, that small graze might not actually have slowed us down enough regardless to uh, <laughs> to have affected all of that. That was a finish. That was a finish. That was an entire lap. Entire lap side by side there to a fight for the second place. Yeah, the leader had a little bit of an easy job with us having to kind of dodge the other things going on. The leader got away uh, free and clear. But what a uh, what a fantastic final a uh, final lap. Yeah, truck truck racing. Oh, there's an angry trailer. Truck racing is uh, plenty plenty good fun indeed. That though is going to be it for this video. As we have a small truck demo derby now. Uh, Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.